<laughs> okay, so it is time for another little mama chat video. Um, I think I'm going to just bring you guys in a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, yeah. So, um, normally I would do like a little mukbang, like I would eat like lunch while Ellie's napping, but this nap time, I made myself a little ice latte. Let's have a sip. Mm, good. Yeah. Um, made myself a little iced latte. I used the salted caramel syrup. So good. <laughs> and I always use one of the double espresso pods from Nespresso. This one I think was like a Bianco something. I think it was one of the sample packs I got. But anyway. So just wanted to have a little mama chat because I haven't done this in a while and a lot of things have been going on. So let's get going. So first thing we're talking about, um, happy new year. I know I've said it before, but we're kind of really just getting back into the swing of things. So just wanted to put that out there. Happy 2023. I hope, you know, you have any goals or mantras or anything that you have set forward for this year i hope you achieve them i hope you have many positive and good things coming your way and just you know sending all the blessings and goodness and positivity i can your way <laughs> so, all right so where where should we start i think we're going to start with because this is you know um a mama chat we're going to start with all things toddler so What's up with my toddler, Ailey, who, if you are new to my channel and haven't seen any of my videos, my daughter, Ailey, is two. Um, two and what are we in? January, so three, three, four months, something like that. So she's getting close to that two and a half mark, but not quite there yet. <laughs> um, so what's been going on with her? Well, a lot. Um, she has started talking and repeating a bunch like a ton it's yeah i want to say definitely just like within the past month she has made so much progress on her speaking and just really just wanting to say things she knows the alphabet she knows the numbers up to 10 she's recognizing things she's um she's even like you know she's starting to say her name which for a while <laughs> she was not um even my husband can even tell you she was worried he was worried that she didn't even know her own name <laughs> but she does so um sorry my hair is just like all over the place we're just gonna scooch it to the side <laughs> anyway so uh yeah so that has, there's been a ton of progress on that which is so amazing to see like just to witness all of that has been incredible and i and I've said this before, like I wasn't worried, but it was something I was kind of keeping an eye on just because you, you know, you want to make sure that your child is developing at a good pace, even if it's their own pace, like at a pace where it's not worrisome to you. So it was never worrying me, but something just I wanted to keep an eye on. So we're fine. <laughs> anyway, so yes, yeah, so that is that. Um, if you're curious, uh <laughs> we are still breastfeeding it's this is you know we're we're going we're still going but you know i will say that you know 
I see certain signs where we could start weaning, but there's just kind of some other things that I want to work on first, um, which I will get to in just a second. Uh, but yeah, so we are still breastfeeding. We are still bed sharing, which is not a huge deal. It's not, it's just, there are things that eventually we will want to change. It's just, we're, we're going slow here, slow and steady. <laughs> so those are the updates on that. Um, and the biggest update of all is we are getting ready to potty learn or potty train as most people call it. Um, I will go into detail on this in another video, but we are getting ready. We are getting ready. We are doing the prep. We are, we're going to do it. <laughs> and uh, like I just said, I will go into more detail about everything that we're doing with this, but we are, just to preface it, we are getting ready to do a three day, we do not go anywhere kind of potty learning thing. I am following the Big Little Feelings um, potty, potty, potty training made simple, potty made simple, something like that. But that is the course that we're following. So we're, we're gearing up, we're getting ready. Um, I am a little bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm not nervous, but I feel like she's ready. I feel like she will take to it. And of course I'm expecting, you know, the accidents and you know, the, the poss possible refusal and you know, all the things that come with that, but I'm getting ready. I am taking the steps to prepare both mentally and you know physically in terms of like the things that we need and even like the house so we're getting there so that is happening <laughs> um okay so those are all things toddler now let's go on to things mama <laughs> so um in right now uh, whether or not you would have noticed it. I'm not sure and I think I said it in another video But the timing of my videos is a little bit funky right now because I am uploading all of our Disneyland vlogs So that was more vlogs than I anticipated just because the length of the videos uh, Were too much to put into one so a lot of the things I had to split into two separate videos even though it was one the same day so you will see that, but basically I have changed my uploading schedule to three times a week now. So I'm Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern, whatever time zone. Um, we are doing three videos a week now. So I decided to do this because, you know, I really want to work on my content more and I want to dedicate some more time to it and also just kind of put out more videos. Like I feel like while the two I felt was manageable it almost seemed like i could do more so i want to really push myself to do more so that's what's going on with that so hopefully the loose um format will be probably like two vlogs a week and one sort of sit down video or like less vloggy style or maybe like more like a video with more of a focus so i don't know we'll see it all depend everything you know is fluid things will change as the year progresses but that is what's going on with that in terms of my videos and yeah so wish me luck on that <laughs> um what else um if you missed it i celebrated my birthday at the beginning of this month um and i turned 35 which is crazy and i kind of am like not sure how i feel about it like i am not i don't dread it it's nothing like that but it's it's weird it's definitely weird like i'm in my mid 30s now and i don't know what i thought or where i thought i'd be at this point i guess i never really put that much thought into it but now that i'm here i'm kind of like well you know um it's you know things like expanding our family whether or not you know that's gonna be the next step for us you know what's gonna go on just you know we're gonna continue to go the path that we're on it's just it's 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 just an interesting place to be where if you hadn't really thought about it like me it's just interesting <laughs> i don't know how else to put it but oh excuse me 
but either way, I'm, I'm feeling good. You know, the only things I would say is that I'm, again, you know, I've said this before and I will keep saying it because I just need to do it, but you know, just kind of going back into our groove, getting into, you know, focusing a little bit more on our health and our lifestyle. So, you know, getting back into that. I haven't used my walking pad or the Peloton in well over a month. So definitely to, you know, just get some more movement going on. So we'll get there, but we are slowly just kind of getting back into the swing of things, which is okay by me. <laughs> anyway, so um, what else? Oh, so the other thing I wanted to talk about, which is I guess it's it's a combo of like a toddler thing and a mama thing, is preschool. Now, Ailey is not quite ready for like full on preschool. And you know, she's only two, so I'm not like pushing that, but obviously we are in 2023 now. So she will be turning three this year. So it's something I am putting more thought into as we're like kind of in it. But there's a couple of things. So one, we live in we live in Nevada, so that's a little bit tricky because the law here states that for kindergarten you have to be five before the school year starts or by a certain date. I forget. I think it's. I th I believe it's by the school year. So the school year starts in August here. So Ailey will only be four when the school year starts the year that she is turning five. So that pushes her to the following year. Now, that we knew, we knew that was gonna be the case. However, it's a little bit tricky because we're trying to figure out, and we need to kind of ask the question, we, have, we just haven't done it yet, is about preschool. So they have, the school that's closest to us has a preschool program, but it's lottery based and um, I'm not 100% sure if she is eligible because she technically will not be three when their school year starts. So I need to kind of ask that question. I believe registration or like to sign up um, that happens in March. So we're getting close. So I might just need to call and kind of just make sure like, hey, blah, blah, blah. So that's one thing. The other thing I've been thinking about, so as you know, Ailey goes to Jimboree, or if you don't know, she goes to Jimboree, and we've just done classes, like play classes and things like that, but they do have what they call preschool prep there. It's for two to three-year-olds, so before you actually get go into preschool, they have a program where once or twice a week, depending on which option you choose, you go into like a partial drop-off, it's just for one hour, um, and you basically, you drop them off, they go into one of the classrooms and they stay there for 55 minutes and then you come for the last five minutes, kind of do like a little recap together and things like that. I am considering putting her in that because I think it'll be really good for her because one, she's comfortable, like she knows Jimbery, like she's comfortable with the place. She doesn't quite know the teachers, but she knows them like in terms of like she can recognize them because she sees them. Now, I think we we need to maybe do like a test um i don't know kind of see how it goes the nice thing is that even though it is like a drop off like you don't like the the parent does not go into the class or anything like that you can if you feel like you have an issue like where your kid's going to cry and like really be upset kind of things like that you can stay in like the the building or the area whatever just out of sight so maybe that's kind of what we'll do just to make sure that uh, she can get comfortable. But, you know, I think we'll, we'll make some steps towards that. Um, but I, I think that's going to be the goal. So kind of the reasoning for that beyond, you know, just for her benefit is also for my benefit, just to kind of give me some time to do things on my own, uh, even when you know bernard is working or just you know just kind of giving me back some of my me time i don't necessarily know if because it's it's only it's less than an hour it's not like a i would drop her off come home and then go get her again i think most likely if anything i would use that time to run errands for myself or i might just stay there and you know because they allow the parent to stay there just out of sight and just stay there and maybe you know get some work done or something i don't know we'll see but that is kind of the thought right now. <sighs> 
I don't know, like it's, it, I'm less nervous about it now that she's talking more and like more able to, to communicate. Um, it's just, she still is quite attached. So it's, you know, it's gonna be a little tough, but eventually we need to kind of make some progress towards that when she is ready. And I do feel like she's getting there. So I'm not like completely like, you know, um, but then on top of that, it's like, we're going to do the potty learning so i want to make sure that she's you know mostly confident in that that way you know it's not an issue for another caretaker but you know it's not even an hour so i don't know it's just i'm literally just like going off the cuff here like just saying whatever's on my mind so <laughs> you know forgive me if it just sounds like i'm just blabbering on because i kind of am but anyway yeah so that's kind of just like my things um you know I'm trying to not stress about too many things and, you know, kind of want to just make sure that I have time for myself, time for Bernard, time for Ailey, like, you know, making sure we're balancing out our lives because, you know, it's been tough. The first couple of years, there's just been so, ongo so much going on, even when we were in New York and then we were in Vegas, you know, there's like, we do so much traveling and it's just like, you know, it's just a lot of things so really just trying to get into some sort of routine and you know keep ourselves in an ever like keeping ourselves steady in an ever-changing environment if that makes sense because i don't want to give up traveling or anything like that that's not you know what i'm saying at all it's just making sure that we can easily adjust and you know easily is like a thing but you know things are hard but Either way. Anyway, I pretty much am done with this coffee. I'm just gonna finish it up and wrap up this video. And this is, you know, this is just for me to just chat, you know, talk to, you know, you guys, essentially myself, but really you guys. So it's like, you know, just getting things out there and, you know, just allowing me to have that time to just shoot off whatever's in my head. <laughs> anyway, so. And thanks for hanging out with me for this little mama chat and i will see you in the next video bye